Hi, good morning. This is Dr. Farley. And the blog I'm going to be going over today is uh, an article that came out by Dr. Robert Malone, MD, MS. Um, and it's on basically well-being organic food and uh, just talking about the benefits of organic food. <clears throat> and the thing that I find that's interesting is the further we move away from proper anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, what the body requires to work properly or not looking at function, the further we get away from the truth and pretty soon we start thinking that things are normal. Uh, some of the normal things right now is that, you know, six to 700,000 people a year have to die from cancer and heart disease. It's kind of normal. So everybody just assumes. Who doesn't have cancer? Who didn't have a heart attack? Autism now, one in 30. It used to be one in 10,000. One in 20,000. Um, depression, anxiety, bipolar through the roof. So the more we see these things, the more common they become. And then the more common they become, the more we just accept them. Um, so in this article here, he's talking about the research that came out and whether or not buying organic is an important thing or not. And I think the whole question is kind of ridiculous, but we'll go through it. Um, I mean, do we really have to consider whether putting poisons inside of us or not is good or bad? Do we really need a scientific study to tell us that organic is better and that you should invest in that food because there's no pesticides and herbicides and GMO in that food? Do we really need a study? Uh, I don't know. I mean, again, to me, the reason why we need a study is because the propaganda machine pushing the food industry and the pharmaceuticals and the drug, it just doesn't stop. And pretty soon people have no concept of what's real and what's not real. We're all walking around thinking we have bad genes, and yet the Human Genome Project shows less than 5% of all diseases are truly genetic. But we believe this, and what we believe, what our concept we believe, our bodies will just follow. So anyway, in here, there's a study that came out in 2018 in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and it showed that eating a higher proportion of organic foods is inversely associated with overall risk of cancer. Um, inversely associated in this case means that more organic food in the diet equals less cancer. Duh. But anyway, uh, some people need to see studies like this. It just makes sense to me. Uh, I mean, you know, if I keep uh, sanding my arm, uh, I would wonder why it kept bleeding. And if I stop sanding my arm, it may heal. Duh. I mean, this is what it sounds like to me. But, you know, we need studies like this because I'm not sure who they need, who needs studies like this. But in general, we have studies like this to show that, yeah, putting stuff, um, toxins and poisons on your food is not good. Um, so there's a very strong correlation between pesticide and herbicide use in various diseases. Okay, um, we also know um, that here's another thing too: people who can't afford to eat organically. What I well, what I would tell you is this: the most important foods that you should be getting would be your fruits and your vegetables. And I know services out there where you can find organic fruits and vegetables. They'll drop a box off at your house. It's not very expensive: thirty to fifty dollars for the for the uh, week. And you will get more than you can eat, likely, for your family. So I would start there. Um, another thing I would tell you to be cautious of, and I see this even with my own family, we now have this thing called DoorDash, where people just drop off a bag of garbage for you from some store that you ordered. And because it's so easy, you don't even have to get in the car anymore to go get the garbage. The garbage comes to your door, and you paid $5 to some, it's like a ghost. You just, bing, bing, you get a doorbell, and you go outside, and there's a bag of garbage for you to eat. Uh, I see this all the time down the shore. I watch what my friends, sorry, what, what my children's friends are eating. It's garbage, 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 and more garbage. Um, some kids never eat fruits and vegetables. Some adults never eat fruits and vegetables. And then the question is, what are we getting when we go to these stores and you get a, a uh, DoorDash dropped off at your door from wherever? Uh, it's got all this garbage in it because it, none of it's organic. None. Zero, zip, zilch. You go out to dinner many places. None of it's organic. So we are raising our risk of multiple diseases, including cancer, 
autism and many other neurodegenerative diseases by eating this garbage on a regular basis. So, does our system have the ability to manage some of these poisons coming in? Yes, but it what, what happens is we just overload the ability of the system to clear. So if I pour a, a glass of poison and we're sitting at the table with 10 of us and we sip the poison, well, the weakest person will die first. It's going to kill everyone, but the strongest person may live a little bit longer. So realistically, we have to look at poison. This is poison. How, how much poison do you want to sip? How much poison do you want your children sipping? Mine? None. Uh, so we have to look at this. So, so what have we? So what have studies shown about eating organically to avoid herbicides such as Roundup and other pesticides? Well, there's a higher frequency of organic food consumption, uh, and you have a decreased risk of cancer. Roundup exposure has been shown to have an increased risk of Parkinson's and the death of neurons of the substantia nigra, which can turn into tremors. Um, reward deficiency syndrome, which can turn into depression, anxiety, bipolar, addiction, compulsive disorders, all kinds of things. You mean eating organic can influence all of that? Yeah, duh. Um, there's also evidence indicating Roundup as a factor of ele elevated risk of autism, okay? For sure, because it damages the neurological system. So that makes some sense. Other studies have also shown that Roundup uh, impacts synaptic transmission in animals and cellular studies. The major mechanism of action appears to be oxidative stress accompanied by mitochondrial dysfunction. So what does that mean? It means that we normally produce fireballs called oxidants from normal working. But when you have the non-organic food, garbage, you produce more fireballs. And then what does it do? It damages inside the cell. And the cell... The, the organelle inside the cell that gets the most damage is the mitochondria. So what happens when we, <coughs> we can't produce proper energy? Well, the cell begins to die. Also, our genes will change, and that's how cancer risk goes up. It's called the metabolic um, cause of cancer. And all disease goes up. When we can't produce energy from the cell, that is the number one basic thing the cell requires. If I have no energy, I'm going to do whatever I need to do. I will change my genes to survive the lack of energy and try to get energy from another mechanism. And this is why we may be seeing a higher risk of cancers. Makes total sense. By the way, that's also why we see a major risk of all other diseases, including neurological diseases and gastrointestinal diseases. We also know that eating these, these uh, foods that are not organic destroy the gut microbiome. That also destroys your health overall and majorly increases all other diseases across the board, uh, including nervous system dysfunction. And back to one more thing too, neurodegeneration and as a subtopic of neurodegeneration, I tell everyone, depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, uh, sleep issues, mood disturbances, these are all signs of neurological dysfunction and many, many times early signs of neurodegeneration. These are not psychological problems many people, and this could be one of the mechanisms for that. Um, it also has uh, indicates that there's an increased risk of cancer and reproductive effects, meaning infertility, not getting pregnant. And they can have uh, significant adverse effects on the brain and behavior and increased risk of at least some serious neurological diseases. There's increased evidence showing that these uh, pesticides and herbicides cause, ex ex exhibit cytotoxic and genotoxic effects, damages your uh, cell and damages your genes. And it increases oxidative stress. It disrupts the estrogen pathway which means it can, it can be involved with breast cancer for sure. Uh, impair, and, and by the way, all cycle changes in women, that would include cycles, PMS, menopause, all that. It impairs some cerebral functions and, and it correlates with cancers. Uh, also, these pesticides and herbicides mess with your immune system. They alter the complement cascade, phagocytic function, lymphocyte response, and increase the, the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines in fish. In mammals, uh, it has also cytotoxic and genotoxic effects, causes inflammation, affects your immune system, your lymphocytes, um, increased risk of thyroid cancer. Um, it has uh, detrimental effects on, on exposure uh, on the brain and human health. Um, 
And then also, um, most cereal grains are loaded with this unless it says organic, which includes all corn, soy, oats. Um, we know that. Uh, so, again, are there um, studies for this? Yes. I'm going to attach this article uh, at the bottom. Uh, at least I will attach the, I'll attach the article at the bottom. Um, by the way, most prevalent increase in cancer is breast cancer. Whoa, imagine that. Number one cause of cancer in women is breast cancer. Hmm. And the most prevalent increase in cancer in these studies is breast cancer. Wow. Number one cause of cancer in men, prostate. Number one cause of cancer in these studies, prostate. Wow. Skin cancer also goes up from this. Colorectal cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and 15 other lymphomas. High organic food scores were inversely associated with the overall risk of cancer. Okay, so what does it mean? You should be eating organic all the time. I mean, it just makes sense. And when you get these foods delivered at your door from DoorDash and you go to these fast food places and even these other restaurants that you're probably going out to numerous times, you are not getting organic. You are getting pollution, chronic toxins coming in and your risk of all disease goes through the roof. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll attach the studies on this and from there, uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out and let me know. But, uh, I mean, again, buying organic uh, just makes sense. I mean, how much poison do you want to sip? Do you want your family sipping? Uh, any poison? To me, none. Makes, makes just sense. So, any questions, please let me know. Uh, buy organic um, and look for places out there where you can buy organic. And there are things that you can afford. One more thing also. I see people spend money on cars and going out to dinner and all kinds of stuff and they go oh i can't buy organic um buy organic it's important you want to remove these toxins and poisons from you and your family's food sources and again you have to watch how many times you're eating out uh these door dashes out to restaurants and everything else because um when you're getting all that if it doesn't say organic and trust me it never says organic and then you're getting a much higher risk of all of these diseases. So thank you. Have a great day. Any questions, as always, please let me know. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless the United States. Thank you.